I first thought Carleton University in Ottawa had a brilliant idea. They decided to put up a 1.2 by 1.8 meter wood plank wrapped in paper and equipped with felt markers. They called it a free speech wall where anyone could write any opinion on the wall. Aaron Smith, a student at Carleton, disagreed. He tore it down and said, not every opinion is valid. The students put the wall up again and told him that it wasn't his call to make. He simply tore it back down and said, just watch me. Today, I'd like to ask you, is anything you say protected by your freedom of speech rights? I find that some people misuse the concept of freedom of speech, and there are examples all around us. When it comes to world leaders, you don't have to hurt your brain to think of someone who thinks freedom of speech means you can say whatever you want. <laughs> I think back to the events this summer in Charlottesville, Virginia where a young woman was killed while trying to peacefully protest the hatred being chanted around her. A month later, in Peterborough, Ontario, a similar rally was organized to take place. With the help of the citizens of Peterborough, along with the friends of Simon Wiesenthal, and a petition signed by over 1,000 people showed that this type of hateful protest is not welcome and will not be tolerated. Let's take a look at our country's official stance on freedom of speech. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and the Criminal Code states that for anything to be considered hate speech, it must be severe and it must be targeted at an identifiable group of people. For example, religion, race, or sexual orientation. It must also be in public. To me, this leaves a disturbing gap. Did you just hear me say that for anything to be considered hate speech, it had to be in public? This leaves it open for parents to raise their children to believe whatever they want. I feel that we are not born with hateful hearts. That is something we are taught by those we look up to. Hate is passed down from generation to generation, and the Charter of Rights and Freedoms does not prevent this. Clearly, the idea of freedom of speech is a tricky one, but I think I know how to make it simple. There's a little something people refer to as the Golden Rule. This is an idea taught by Jesus of Nazareth. It is recorded in eight of the world's religions, also known as the Ethic of Reciprocity states that we should aim to treat each other as we would like to be treated. As Simon Wiesenthal, Jewish-Austrian Holocaust survivor, Nazi hunter, and writer said, freedom of speech is not freedom to propagate hatred. Maybe this is what our Carleton University student Aaron was thinking about when he tore down that free speech wall. We need to understand all perspectives to be able to empathize with others, especially those who are different from us. But we need to listen with our ears and our minds our hearts. Is what we hear about others what we would like to hear about ourselves? Even if we disagree with what we hear, do those opinions lift others up or tear them down? Using these questions as our filter before making a statement, we can be sure that we are making the most of our right to free speech. Thank you.